Hello everyone, hello and welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Bridget Fuliaki Davis and you are joining me in Bridget's Healthy Kitchen. If you are joining us live via Facebook, so you are watching this live and unedited, welcome. It's really good to have you joining me tonight. If you are watching this on YouTube as a recorded video, uh, just a word of well, firstly, welcome. <laughs> good to have you joining me, but just to give you a little bit of an update or a little bit of a reminder, this is a live cooking class. So I will be talking. It is not edited. It is live. It is completely off the cuff. So if you are looking for a version of a recipe where it's just now add two spoons of that and add two spoons of that, maybe this isn't the video to watch because I discuss every single ingredient that goes in so you know why I'm using it, why it's healthy and all the good stuff it's going to do for your body. So uh, just a little, like I said, a word of advice in case you are watching it on YouTube. But for all the lovelies that have joined me live here on Facebook, it's good to see you. I can see Jane. I can also see Janelle. Rosemary's joining us too. Uh, Lavonie, I hope I got that, that right. Lavonie. Uh, we've got Linda as well. And oh, Sandra's joining us as well, which is great. And of course, the beautiful Christine Holland. It is wonderful to have you guys on board because we're doing three, that's right, count them, three. <laughs> three breakfast breakfast puddings here today and I'm pretty excited to be sharing these breakfast style puddings with you because of the amazing health benefits that we're going to talk about as well so we've got three puddings to share we're going to start off with my almond porridge and I call it my express porridge in fact every single one of these puddings that we're making today and yes I said porridge but there are no oats involved here this is an oat-free zone today, completely oat-free. So the three porridges that I am doing today all can be prepared in a couple of minutes. Now, I'm going to be showing you the stove top version, but all three of these porridges can be made in the microwave as well, which is kind of cool because if you want to talk about express, you want things to be as easy as possible, and that's what we're doing today. So that's the first thing, is that we're doing recipes that are quick. Lovely, right? Breakfast, you know, or that time of the day, you kind of want to get in and out as quickly as possible. But as well as that, the almond porridge, I said is the first one. The second one that we're doing is, I call it let it go porridge, which basically, if you consider <laughs> letting things go, like moving through your body, this is what that porridge, this porridge is designed to do, this pudding is designed to do, is it's designed to make sure that we're getting through things through your body, as in waste, because we don't want waste to be hanging around, especially in our intestines. We're getting that stuff through your body nice and quick. So this is a really good one if you are feeling a little bit blocked up. But even if you aren't feeling a little, little bit blocked up, it keeps you regular and it tastes delicious. So that's the Let It Go Porridge, which is number two. And the third pudding we are going to be doing today, which is brand new. No one on this live video on Facebook has seen this recipe. <laughs> It is completely brand new, and yes, it will be joining us on our next boost camp. How exciting. So in our February boost camp, this is going to be a recipe that we're going to be doing, and it's completely brand new, and it is a chocolate porridge or chocolate pudding that we are making tonight for the first time ever. So if you don't have your notebook already, I would highly recommend you go and grab it, because you're going to want to take down these recipes, because they are absolutely fabulous. So without further ado, let's get into the very first recipe which is our almond porridge so i'm gonna put on my glasses because it's that time of life for me i'm gonna put on my glasses to make sure i don't miss anything out oh my gosh you're so much clearer now i can see robin tracy hello my darling and pam wonderful to see you guys I should have worn my glasses the whole time this is really good it's like oh everything's clear all right let's do the recipe so Almond porridge is the first one. Now, because everything is kind of expressed when it comes to these, it's a really good idea to work directly into your pot. So you don't have to like weigh everything out, you know, separately. And one of the really cool things about these recipes, and this is what I do, here's a tip for you guys, is I will take, I will make up bags of the dry ingredients of this, these recipes and then take them traveling with me. So I'm never too far away from a good, hearty, filling meal or dessert, I also have it for dessert, um, that's going to help to keep me regular especially. 
So this first porridge, the almond porridge, it is a bit higher in fat content. I'm going to warn you on that one. So this is not an everyday style of, of um, dish that you have. This is something that you kind of want to top out maybe once a week because it does have the first ingredient, which is our almond flour. Of course, you could use almond meal. You could use, which has just got the, you know, the seeds, uh, sorry, the skin still attached. But you could use another nut flour, like you could use cashew nuts. I'll probably stay away from sunflower seed flour because it's a little bit unusual. But you could definitely test it with other um, nut flours. So this is for one portion, and we're going to add in here 60 grams, which is two ounces of our almond flour. And by the way, this is the last almond almond flour recipe. This, in fact, this is the last nut recipe tonight. This is it. I'm just going to show you this. This was my first express porridge that I created and I fell in love and so did everyone around me. So I want to start with that, right? In fact, guess what? Even made it into the cookbook. Yes, this porridge is in this cookbook. Treat yourself healthy just in case you don't already own a copy. So 60 grams of that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in um, one tablespoon of our chia seeds. Now chia seeds, as you guys know, um, are a good source of dietary fiber, but chia seeds are also a really good source of plant-based protein. So we're going to put that tablespoon of chia seeds in there. The chia seeds are also going to, going to um, swell up when we add liquid, which is going to help to give this porridge a really fabulous texture as well. So that's the next one. The next thing we're going to think about is adding in the liquid ingredients. So I'm going to be adding in today some coconut milk, and can I just say how fabulous this coconut milk is? I um I knew it was fabulous because it's coconut milk, yet it is as creamy as coconut cream. So you don't have to use coconut cream to get a really amazing mouthfeel and texture because this is such a good quality coconut milk. And yes, it's by the company named um, called Tara, Akara. But the thing that is amazing about this is if you look at the ingredients, and sometimes coconut milks, it can ones, ones in these heterobacks, they can be um, full of emulsifiers, full of thickeners, they can sometimes have sugar. I've even seen, seen one that had dairy, so buy a beware. But when it comes to Alcara, and this is why I love it, it is nine, this is your ingredients, 99.9% fresh coconut milk, 99.9. The other 0.1% is xanthan gum and gur gum, which I use regularly in my recipes. That's it, nothing else. You get the most amazing coconut milk, and no, I don't work for the brand, I just love it. I wanna share the stuff that I know is awesome with you guys. Kara is one of those. So, we're going to be adding in 180 mils, which is six fluid ounces of our coconut milk goes in there. So you can see that, like as I was saying, this does have a slightly higher fat content than the other two puddings slash porridges I'm going to be showing you tonight. So treat food, yeah? This is a treat food. And I tend to not have this for breakfast. I don't break my fast with this. I actually break my fast the good way, the boost camp way, which is, you know, fiber, protein, and vegetables. But I will have this directly after. So I will have that after I've actually broken my fast with something that's really full of fiber, really full of goodness, and then I'll have this. So the last ingredient, oh, we've got a couple more, a couple more bridge, come on. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of pro um, prebiotic quality to it. So I'm upping the dietary fiber. I'm also adding some sweetness because we're using our pure as inulin powder. And we're gonna be adding two teaspoons of the inulin powder in there. So it doesn't need a lot of sweetness because the almond naturally has, you know, a bit of sweetness. So I don't find that I have to go over crazy with this one when it comes to sweet. It's already sweet enough. And you know, we don't want to go crazy when it comes to the sweet stuff, right? So that is now in there. I'm just going to turn this on. Like I said, you could literally do all of this in the microwave. In yeah, Chef Mike could do all the cooking for you <laughs> if you were that way inclined. And that's why I love this particular these particular express porridges i will literally put all the dry ingredients into a little baggie label it pop it into my luggage and then wherever i travel in the world i can just make it in the microwave right because often the hotels or the places i stay i always make sure it's got a kitchen so i can do things like this even if it's even if it doesn't have a big kitchen but it's got a microwave 
all I need to do is go out and source some coconut milk and I'm away laughing, right? Which is fantastic. So that is doing its thing already. The last thing I'm going to add is going to help to stabilize our blood sugar, which is really important. And that is a wonderful little spice. And that spice is called cinnamon. You don't need much, literally a pinch, quarter of a teaspoon is all you need. And then you just add that little bit of flavor, which is really important. But of course, the other thing, can you guys see? I'm just gonna flip you just a little bit. I'm just gonna, yeah, there we go. But the other thing that's really awesome about our cinnamon is that its ability to help to keep our blood sugar stable. And that, that is what we want out of life. Literally, that is life in a nutshell, is keeping your blood sugar stable. And cinnamon, and all its tasty goodness, can help with that. Now, let me tell you, don't go out there and, and think you're gonna be start eating cinnamon. I'm sure some of you have seen that cinnamon challenge, where people try to eat cinnamon off a spoon, they're like, don't do that. That's, that's not a good idea at all. All right, happy with that. Blind again, but happy with that. How long did that take? Like, I was not personally counting, but that was less than two minutes, right? We talk, I told you it was express. Look, you made porridge in less than 90 seconds. That is so incredibly good for you. It's not going to spike your blood glucose. It's not going to make you hold into fat, but it is going to give you healthy fats. So the other really cool thing I'm doing today, I just want to show you this, is uh, I'll be serving everything today. I've got a selection of my favorite ceramic um, company, New Zealand ceramic company known as Crownland. I'll be serving everything in Crownland today. For all the Kiwis out there and some of the Australian, because uh, Australian watches because Crownland did make it into uh, Australian market. It was sold in here. I have Crownland pieces from like 1930. I've got Crownland pieces from 1970. And I've got hundreds, literally hundreds of them because I use them for food, uh, food styling. And I like it. And I like going to secondhand shops and rummaging. So that's where I'm going to... I'm serving everything in Crownland today. So as you can see, you get a really thick porridge. And you know, it's up to you how you now address that. Sometimes, you know, I like to do something really simple, which is just add a little bit of more of that fabulous coconut milk. Other times I might, you know, top it with a few berries, whatever it is, just to kind of finish it off. Um, you know, as I was saying, it doesn't need any more sweetness. So you could literally get away with not adding any fruit if you didn't want to, but of course you could totally go for it and add some fruit, but just make sure whatever fruits you are adding to the top of your healthy breakfast puddings or breakfast puddings, make sure that fruit is low sugar fruit. So stay away from the high sugary fruits and they tend to be the bananas and the tropical fruits and things like pears and you know mangoes, pineapples, all that sort of stuff. Um, grapes, dried fruits, stay away from all that and you want to go for something fresh, something low sugar and then you just literally have the most perfect little breakfast for you and you've done it in a couple of minutes and it's gorgeous, right? So that's breakfast number one. As I was saying, this is more of a treat. This is not an everyday food, all right? This is breakfast number one and there is our treat food. All right, let me get rid of that and let's go on to breakfast number two. Now breakfast number two is this fabulous I'll just get rid of that recipe. <laughs> bye bye. We're now on to the next recipe. Yes. And the breakfast number two is my Let It Go porridge. So come back this way. I am mm, going to apply my glasses. Oh, you're clear again. Oh, hey guys. Fabulous to see you all. Okay. Let It Go porridge. I named it Let It Go for all the reasons I talked about at the beginning of this episode, which is that Let It Go basically means that it's going to help things to let go or for you to let go and move things through your digestive system especially your colon your large intestine so um, it does help to keep things moving now in saying that it does not mean you're going to be rushing off to the toilet five minutes after eating it because it still needs to work its way through your stomach get digested then hit your small intestine 
and then into your colon before you may see some action. So we could be talking 12 hours, 24 hours. I know some people, it can stimulate the bowels, but in general, Let It Go Porridge is designed to be very, very gentle. So do not fear. Don't think you're gonna eat this porridge and then be screaming for a toilet. It's not that type of porridge <laughs> at all. In fact, it's just delicious. And wonderful and full of fiber which is what gives it that let it go quality so here we got the let it go I'm once again I'm working directly into my and on my scales and onto my chopping board in fact I know I do need a bit of scales for this one all right so the first ingredient remember this is a nut free option as well right the first ingredient is heaven well, not if you just eat it straight off a spoon, it tastes like, it tastes pretty horrible, but it's heaven in regards to what it does to your insides, and it feeds your healthy gut bacteria. So this is food for your bacteria, the healthy guys that call you home. This is going to create a wonderful garden of goodness within you, and we do that with flax meal, also known as linseed meal. Uh, and what it basically is, is flax seeds that have been ground down to look like a powder. And I actually buy mine, this is for our, our Australian viewers, and it could also be for our New Zealand viewers, because I believe this company is now in your part of the world, um, the Chemist Warehouse. You can buy 500 gram bags, which is no, over, just over a, a pound of ground flax seeds for $3.99 in Australia, which is pretty good. So every time I'm popping into the chemist warehouse, I'm buying as many as I can because we go through a lot of it. We go through a lot of it. So our Let It Go Porridge, we're going to start with that fabulous flax seed or flax meal, which is the ground down. And yes, you can make your own. If you've got a, um, a spice or coffee grinder, you can take flax seeds and ground them down yourself if you want to. So we're going to be adding in here, and again, we're doing one serve, yeah? So let it go porridge, we're going to add in two tablespoons of flax meal. That's the very first one, two tablespoons, spoons, not spoons, spoons. Oh, I'm going to, I might use that again, I'll leave that open. We're going to go back to that wonderful, again, dietary fiber, helps to keep us regular. But the great thing about this is it's also, again, a plant-based protein. And we're going to be adding in two tablespoons of our wonderful chia seeds. Just remember, it doesn't matter if you've got black or you've got white chia seeds or as you, like me, I've got like multicolored ones. Um, there's no nutritional value difference between the two colors. It's really aesthetic, so it doesn't matter. You know, if someone's trying to sell you white chia seeds as you know, cheaper than the black. It, it's all the same. It's just a, it's just an aesthetic type of thing. So we've got two tablespoons of our chia seed. I'm also going to be just up in the ante again with our little bit of prebiotic dietary fiber and a little bit of sweetness. And I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of our onion powder is going in there. I love that cinnamon. You know I do. So let's start adding in some spice, a little bit of flavor because. Let's be honest, I was not saying on its own, flaxseed's not that great. You need to add stuff to it, right, in order to make it palatable. So, we're going to be adding in some cinnamon. I am going with half a teaspoon of cinnamon into this one. I'm also going to be adding some more spice. And this time, I'm going to be adding in some ground ginger. Now, ginger is such a wonderful spice. It's known as a warming spice, like cinnamon. But ginger's natural ability to help with gut issues and tummy upsets and just if you're feeling a little bit nauseous or motion sick or whatever it is, ginger is a wonderful spice to have in your spice cabinet. And for the ginger, let's add in half a teaspoon of ginger. We're going to be adding in again a bit of coconut milk, but of course you could use any non-dairy milk that you like. I'll leave that up to you because some people can't or don't like coconut milk. milk. I understand that you know can't eat or drink coconut milk because they've got an allergy, but those who don't like it, I'm just concerned. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? You know, that's not right. But I get it. I get it. We all taste different. So um, I'm going to be adding into here 120 mils, which is four ounces of our Cara. Oh, it's so thick. I'm not sure if you guys. It's not even pouring like milk. It is literally pouring like coconut cream. So we're going to do 120 
mils or four ounces of whatever non-dairy milk that you want to do. And of course, you may notice that every single recipe tonight is plant-based. Every single one, 100% plant-based, which is fabulous as well, right? And of course, sugar, dairy, gluten-free as well, <laughs> and grain-free, you know, that's just amazing. So that goes in there, but as well as that, I just want to up the liquid a little bit more. So, it, wrong one. So I'm also going to be adding in, I just have in here, a little bit of coconut water. Look, you could use normal water if you want to, but I'm going to be adding a little bit of coconut water, and I'm going to be adding in 60 mils, which is two ounces, of our coconut water is going in there as well. All right. Is that it? Oh, I might just add a few more bits and pieces later on, but that's pretty much it. So, on we go, onto the cooktop, just like the almond porridge, you can also make this porridge or this pudding in the, the microwave. Yes, you can put the chef mic back to work. <laughs> and again, this makes the most fabulous little take on, like, like I don't suggest you put it in your carry-on, but put it in your luggage, make up little bags, label those little bags, and all you gotta do is find the coconut milk. And you're never too far away from something really, 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 really healthy. And if you are struggling in the tummy region, it's also gonna potentially help you to move things on and let things go. And that's what it's all about, right? Letting things go, we all need to let things go. Can't hold on to things including poo. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it's waste. So I've come to the boil. Well, I'm, I'm always on the boil, aren't I? But physically, my, my pudding has come to the boil. After a couple, I'm using an induction cooktop. That's why it's so fast as well. It's come to the boil. I'm just giving it a little bit of a And already, just within a couple of seconds, the chia seeds have begun to swell, so they're taking on the liquid and they're increasing. Chia seeds, there's little chia seeds increase up to 10 times their size when you add liquid. And the more this sits on here, you know, another five seconds, it gets thicker. Because not only that, the fiber is also thickening as it takes on that liquid. So we really do have quite a fabulous thing that's happening here tonight. I'm so excited about it. I have, I'm that excited by all of this tonight. That's it, I'm done. Happy with that. Turn your noisy thing off. Gorgeous. Can you guys see that? It's, I mean, if you wanted it to be thicker, you just leave it on for a little bit longer. Like, if you like the really glaggy style porridge. Um, <laughs> not a fan of the gluggy. Not, but some people like it. Like, like, I'm not a fan of the gluggy because, yeah, I'm just not a fan. But I know some people grew up with it and they're probably used to that type of texture. So if you do like it thicker, just leave it on there for a little bit, a little bit longer and it will thicken up even more. But I'm happy with that. I'm also happy with this. This is part two of my collection of New Zealand ceramics. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? I'm not, I'm, I'm not even sure what like decade this one is from, but based on the design, I'm thinking 60s or 70s. Probably, maybe even younger. Someone might get a tell me. All right, so give that a bit of a stir. Pop that straight into your favorite bowl. Now, when it comes to this this particular porridge or pudding, again, I'm I I do tend to not use all of these three porridges actually to break my fast. I tend to use them more like dessert. That's why I call them puddings because I'll eat my main meal, which is always lots of really, really good vegetables, and then after I've eaten all those really, really, really good vegetables, I will then dig into this. So it almost becomes like my second course <laughs> when I'm eating my lunch or my, or my dinner, and I love it, and it takes seconds, and yes, it takes only a couple of minutes on high in the microwave. So that's what it looks like, and of course, you can then go and do whatever you want. Let's maybe add, I, mean, I do love the berries because like if you want to talk bang for your buck in terms of goodness, this is probably one of the best wee little fruits that you can get because it blueberries, I call them brain berries because they're, they're so incredibly good for maintaining the health of our brain. So have some brain berries on your, on your let it go porridge. I got this wonderful strawberry. And of course you don't have to use fresh. There is nothing stopping you. 
from grabbing up, especially if um, berries are like completely out of season and you're part of the world, there is absolutely nothing stopping you from going to the freezer section in your supermarket and buying up some of those frozen berries. Because those frozen berries are often picked at the peak of their ripeness. And then they are snap frozen. And it's through that process that we're able to just pop them in a little pan, let them come to the boil, turn, this is from frozen, turn them off. And then of course, what you're left with is just the most amazing berries and liquid. And all you did was basically just heat them up. You defrosted them. So I did actually have a pot of berries that I was going to use to top this particular porridge, but I left it in the other kitchen. So you can just uh, pretend, right, that I did what I was supposed to do. So that is um, easy. Uh, you could do something like if you wanted to, um, you could like sprinkle, you know, a little bit of pixie dust, aka inulin over top of those amazing berries and that's gonna be just the best ever. Or what else have we got here? You could you could chop up some apple, green apple, another wonderful low sugar fruit is a <gasps> oh my god it's like magic see I told you I wasn't lying I told you I had magic and berries thank you magic man <laughs> you can all guess who that was right delivering my berries gotta love him also tells me that he's actually watching <laughs> not that he doesn't but he is watching thank you magic man shall we just shall we because you know what I, I'm, I'm serious about it. so all i did was i threw these frozen berries into one well, throw them i gen, gently placed them delicately lovingly placed them into a pot i put that pot then onto the cooktop and i turned it on just on medium went away and put my lipstick on <laughs> Come back and turned it off and then forgot to bring it in here. That's all I did. I've got I've now not added any sugar because it, you know, I don't need to for this particular recipe. I haven't added any liquid, and you can see that even for these bitter berries, we have the most wonderful liquid. So our ability to now add a little bit of that berry goodness to the top of our let it go porridge. And I'm gonna let it go with a little bit more of this goody. Oh, Oh, I love this stuff and um, yeah you have the most gorgeous porridge right really gorgeous and consider and remember all those benefits that we've talked about already like just absolutely fabulous you're like are you telling me that that's gonna help me go to the bathroom and I'm like yeah pretty much it's gonna yeah it, yeah you wait you wait and see so that's it I mean the other thing you could do if you don't want to add inulin too much because we've already got the inulin in there of course you could just finish it off with our zero as sugar because our sugar will not spike your blood glucose this dish is designed to keep your blood glucose stable and our sugar our zero as sugar is the reason we sell it is because that's what it does as well so if you want anything you want our inulin you want our zero sugar all you gotta do is go to bridgets.shop like put into google bridgets.shop and you can purchase your own and like literally i do not i will be taking this um, with me as well. <laughs> Not in a jar, but I'll have a bag of zero. I'll have a bag of inulin. I'll have a bottle of fiber soap, and I'll be on my way whenever I travel, just so I know I can add goodness to my food. And zero sugar is amazing, and it tastes like sugar. You basically treat it like normal bad sugar, except it's good sugar. So that's what you can do. That is pudding. <laughs> eating that I've got to give it to them got to give it to the magic man I think because he he definitely did deliver tonight I should call him the UPS man or the or the um, DHL man because he delivered <laughs> all right last one on our list for tonight the brand new one. Oh, let's just get rid of this recipe first Fred I'm not gonna throw that away I'm just getting it off my bench I like to you know I'm, I'm satisfying myself again done we can cross that off we're down to the last recipe and yeah, you guys are the first people in the world to see this recipe. So get your get your notepads at the ready because you're gonna fall in love with this chocolate porridge. You're gonna fall in love. Now apologies to all our Scottish um, folk because <laughs> you're thinking now that ain't porridge. You know that not how you make porridge. I know, but it's porridge like in consistency. So I'm gonna go with that. But I, I am part I am part Scot. I'm quite a big part, so, you know, even part of me is like, 
Actually, that's not porridge, but it's porridge like inconsistency, so we can call it what we want, right? We totally can. So um, this chocolate porridge slash pudding, again, it is amazingly good for you. I'm going to grab up my my last pot of the day. Um, and do I need scales? Oh, glasses have got to, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I'm going to put them back straight back onto the scale. So um, this particular recipe makes a lot. In fact, the more I think about it, you could probably get away with two small portions. Or you could just half the recipe if you're a small eater. Um, I like it, so it's big. <laughs> I designed it because I'm like, that's so delicious. And yeah, it totally is. So we are going to start off with our favorite ingredient, which of course, again, is our flax seed or flax meal. And oh my gosh, it is huge. Four tablespoons. Oh my goodness. This is going to let it go. This is going to satisfy the taste buds. This is going to feed your amazing, healthy, good bacteria all in one wee pot or one wee microwave as well. Don't forget that. This one can be done in the microwave. So four tablespoons. Gosh, I must have been hungry the day I invented this because I'm like, that's a lot. <laughs> but I'll eat it. I'll totally eat it. Two tablespoons of our chia seeds, which kind of are a good base, right? It's a good base to have when we're making these types of, you know, text porridge-like textures, <laughs> for want of a better term. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna up the ante because that's all great, but how can we improve it? And for me, I'm always looking to improve all the recipes that I've made. So the recipes that I started making, like when I first started on my journey five years ago, they have transformed dramatically since that time. Because I keep on learning, my taste buds keep on getting better, I keep on having more experiences. So the recipes that I'm giving to you guys now, the recipes that I'm creating for Boost Camp, are like next level healthy, delicious recipes because I just keep on getting more involved in it. So this, even this porridge, even this porridge is next level delicious and next level health. So we've got those two ingredients, but let's now add in a little bit of gelatin. So I'm using natural gelatin and I'm putting in a tablespoon of gelatin. You might be going, why are you adding gelatin to this recipe? Right, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, gelatin is 99.9% pure protein. So I've just added protein to your pudding. You're welcome. <laughs> but as well as that, gelatin helps to look after that delicate environment inside of our gut, especially, especially the small intestine, which can get some real damage happening to it. If you've eaten a diet that's been really high in and like processed foods and sugars and glutens and commercial dairy, chances are you've got a pretty unhappy and slightly damaged, if not really damaged, intestine, especially your small intestine. That gelatin is going to help to heal and seal your amazing, <laughs> your amazing intestines. And I do love intestines. Anyone's ever done a boost camp with me, you guys know that small intestine is my favorite organ. <laughs> So weird, I'm such a nutritional body nerd, but I, I do, I quite enjoy things that happen in the small intestine. It's a really important organ, right? So that gelatin is going to help to heal and seal that organ, which is really important. But the other thing, I'm on my third thing when it comes to gelatin now. Gelatin will also go into your large intestine or your colon and will help to repair and support the mucus lining in your colon, which I know mucus is a gross word. But we need that lining in our colon to help keep things from going where we don't want to go, which is into our bloodstream. So it's like your protection layer. Gelatin does that. The other thing that gelatin does, this is, this is like cool fact number four about gelatin, is that gelatin is basically cooked collagen. <laughs> so this is a beauty regime in a pot. When you ingest collagen, you are looking after your skin from the inside out. And that is the best way to get collagen inside of you is through this as opposed to rubbing it on with creams and lotions and all that sort of stuff. This is a way better delivery system. So gelatin, I love it. I use natural grass-fed gelatin always because it's better, it's just easier, and I want to look after my body. So one tablespoon of that goes in. The next ingredient, a 
And this is what blew me away when I tried it. I was like, oh my gosh, it worked. The next ingredient is raw cacao powder. Not to be confused with your normal cocoa powder that you find in the baking section, usually of your supermarket. And um, I know the Cadbury's do the cocoa powder and it's full of sugar and gluten and preservatives and blah, 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 blah. This is just cocoa beans, the thing you make chocolate from. They then roast it and so it's really crispy, crunchy, and then they grind it to a powder. That is it. There's no ingredients in this but that particular thing. So I've got this cocoa powder, cacao powder, not cocoa, and I'm going to be adding in a tablespoon of cacao. So cacao obviously is going to help to give it that wonderful chocolate flavor, and it's going to start to really disguise the flavor of that flax meal, which is, which is nice too. But the other thing about cocoa or cacao is that we are talking about a nutrient dense ingredient like some people will call it a superfood i won't go that far but i will call it an amazing ingredient because it's full of antioxidants and phytonutrients and one of the ones that we're really it's really really special about it is it's full of polyphenols and polyphenols are a special type of phytonutrient that is just so incredibly good at being able to clear out toxins in our body so incredibly good for our overall health we all need to get more polyphenols into our day and this is such a delicious way to do it this amazing cacao powder that's all it is so a tablespoon of that goes in there right let's get into the liquid again you decide non-dairy milk or cara <laughs> Coconut milk, and I'm going to be adding in 100 mils, which is 3.5 ounces of that goes into there. I'm also going to be adding in a little bit of water. You could use coconut water, but in, honest, in all honesty, it doesn't need it in this because the, the cacao just totally transforms the flavor of this dish. So you don't have to worry about just adding good old, you know, filtered water. That's all you need to do. And again, we're going to be adding in 100 mils of our filtered water going in there. And we are done. We are done with the liquids. We are done with the bits and bobs. Let's go over to our induction cooktop. I'm doing, by the way, I'm doing all these... Um, these little goodies here tonight, these little puddings, I'm doing everything on around about medium to high. So in between medium, in between high. You don't need to have it on high um, because it doesn't take long anyway. So I'm just stir, stir, stir. It's really liquid right now. That's gonna change pretty quickly. <laughs> pretty quickly that's gonna change, but it's pretty liquid as we speak. But it already looks like chocolate. I, I'm, I am like, sometimes like I said, things just work, you know, and this was one of them, and I fed it to Mr. Magic, and he was just like, what is that? You know, like, I don't know what's going on here, but I like it, and I was like, just, just eat it, you know, it's great, but I was really curious to see what he thought about the texture, obviously, and what he thought about the chocolate. I didn't tell him what was in it, and he said, oh my god, this chocolate pudding is amazing. And then when I told him what was in it, he just, he was completely blown away because he knows the health benefits of these ingredients that I just love to use and I love to create and I love to share recipes with you guys. And as I said, my recipes just keep on getting better. And yes, you could give this recipe to Chef Mike. Chef Mike can do this too. In a couple of minutes, in the microwave, in the bowl that you plan to eat it on, let Chef Mike handle it for you. So we're, we're, you know, we're still a little bit thick, or thin, so again, like the Let It Go Porridge, if you just leave it on there for a little bit longer, it will continue to thicken up. Consider all that flax meal we've got in there. Consider all those chia seeds that we've got in there as well. If I let it go too long, it'll probably be like I can cut it with a knife. <laughs> and that's one of the beauties, yeah? I've talked about like, you know, the beauty of this particular, the, the ingredients. We've talked about the beauty of you know, what they do to our gut and what they, what they do to our healthy gut bacteria. But consider this, these ingredients are also designed by nature to help you to stay feeling and being fuller longer. So you're not gonna 
hit that horrible blood glucose spike and then drop back down because you're on a sugar roller coaster. You're not going to get any of that, which is great. But you're also not going to be looking for food in a couple of hours time because you're still going to be feel, feeling full and satisfied. So these ingredients have so many different amazing nutritional properties and that's why I like sharing them with you guys because it's just more than one. There's always more than one amazing thing. In fact, I've got one more amazing thing to show you. I've saved the best bowl for last. Okay, Kiwis, New Zealanders, you all know that bowl. It, isn't it just stunning? This is known as the daisy pattern. I know this one very, very well. And um, it was one of my favorite finds actually in a secondhand shop and I found it here in Australia in the local salvos and I nearly, like, you could have, I squealed <laughs> in the store like, because this is like, this is such, I remember this from my childhood and I found, I think I found eight plates and six dinner plates or something like that. And it was just best day ever. And um, it's gonna be the best day ever because we're gonna serve our gorgeous, look, see, told you we're thicken up, right? Told ya. We're gonna serve this huge serving, huge serving of uh, chocolate porridge. That's not that big. <laughs> Kind of semi big, yeah, no, it's big because I've still got some more in my pot. <laughs> I'd eat that, I would, I'd totally smash that. I might have to have a bit of a gap though between, uh, you know, maybe a half an hour rest between my my vegetables and my protein and my fat and my healthy fats before I smoke that. But I will, I will, I'll do damage to that right now. All I'm getting in my nostrils is chocolate. It's like Willy Wonka has appeared <laughs> and said, here's what you can do with fiber. <laughs> Which is amazing, right? So all I can smell is chocolate. But I am going to up the chocolate ante. And I highly recommend you do this as well. So um, I forgot to add something. There's another thing you want to add. Just write that on your little list. When it's in there, before you put it in there, you might just want to add, I just put a little bit of cinnamon sugar, which is literally, I make my own cinnamon sugar, and it has its own special jar, and it sits in my spice cabinet, because I use it all the time, and cinnamon sugar is literally one tablespoon of cinnamon powder to two tablespoons of our zero as sugar. You mix them together, you put it in the jar, and you've always got cinnamon sugar. Who doesn't love cinnamon sugar? So if you have cinnamon sugar, you know, you might want to use like half a, tea, a tablespoon or a teaspoon. Not even. Not even. What have I got here? It's um, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Sorry, I've got the glasses on. I've, um, I've got two teaspoons. Don't have the glasses on. Okay. Woo! Two teaspoons of cinnamon sugar goes into the porridge. Yes? If you want to. I want to. I like cinnamon. So pretend I put it in. But the um, next ingredient is me literally just wanting to add a little bit more chocolate, but good chocolate. So what I have here, um, this is like a chocolate gravel or sand, but my chocolate um, is sugar free, it is gluten free, and it is dairy free as well. So it's a vegan, sugar free, gluten free chocolate. Um, and you can buy, obviously, sugar free chocolates in your local supermarket. Please don't ask me where I get mine from because mine can only be purchased by people in the industry. So restaurants, cafes, chefs, etc. So I can't unfortunately um, get you the address for this. Um, but you can of course go to the supermarket and have a look. You're looking for sugar-free, ideally gluten-free and dairy-free, definitely sugar-free, dark, dark, dark chocolate. If you can't find it in sand or gravel, you can just grate it over the top. Now the reason you want to do this Gelatin that's going to make us 
beautiful. We've got all these really, really good things. Um, and so, you know, all we need to do now is keep on adding more good things. So I've just got toasted coconut um, threads. So I use the obviously unsweetened coconut for our American friends. You always want to choose unsweetened coconut. And um, all I do is take that coconut, toss it into a dry pan on low, and just create this little lovely toasted coconut. Because toasted coconut tastes so much better than normal coconut, right? Just plain old untoasted. And it takes seconds to make. And then, of course, you've always got a jar of something that you can use to, you know, embellish things with, make things wonderful. So, I mean, I'd stop there if I wanted to. But again, oh my gosh, I've got to go back to, got to go back to beautiful, gorgeous, uh, berries because I was so excited when you brought my berries in today. But of course, again, you know, most of the fruit. So feel free to add kiwi. Amazing. I didn't have any. That's why we're not doing it. I've eaten them all. Um, feel free to add apples or stone fruit like like peaches or nectarines or even plums cut really, really small. Put those on as well. I mean, the, the list of, from our boost camp, you guys know that the list of like low sugar friendly fruit and the ones you want to avoid, they're in your go food, no food book. Um, we don't have any inulin powder in here, so why not dust it with a bit of pixie dust to really make it amazing because we know that inulin tastes like berry floss. So it literally is pixie dust because it's berry floss or candy floss. Isn't that great? So a little bit of that goes on. Let's also just add, because we've got them in the house and they're gorgeous and I love the colour. Um, add some blueberries, fresh blueberries, and you just, you literally, in fact, I do like adding little blue, little brain berries, the blueberries, because um, when you add it before, add them before you add the chocolate coating, they actually sink down to the porridge, and then as you're eating it, you get these little, these little gorgeous little, little bites of fresh berry. It's really, really nice, but you know what? Everything we've done here tonight is really, really nice. Let's put them all out. Where are we? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, forgot my little almond porridge. Everything we have here tonight is just fabulous. But I just, I'm going to tease now. Look at that. I got it right. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? It looks like pudding. It tastes like pudding. If you are a chocoholic, this needs to be your new go-to. Now, just a word of warning. Remember that almond porridge treat food once a week. Once a week maximum. When it comes to these types of porridges, I would recommend no more than two to three times a week, yeah? You still want to have diversity in your diet. So you need to make sure that you're eating different types of foods, as many different types of, especially plant foods, as possible. Get them into you, and then you're going to help to feed that healthy gut bacteria. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I hope you're going to make some porridge. I know you are. Please post a photo on our, in our private group, Bridget's Healthy Kitchen. Uh, family on Facebook. If you're not currently a member of Bridges Healthy Kitchen family, join us on Facebook. It's free. <laughs> and you get access to all the recipes as well, which is very, very exciting. So um, that is our night for tonight. Now, our next cooking class, I'm going to give it a bit of a, bit of a spruik. Our next cooking class is on Tuesday, Australian time, same time, 6.30, but it's on Tuesday evening. And we will be doing something special. And it's because you asked for it. I teased out that I may have or may not have created the most amazing uh, beef style, beef nacho, so nacho beef, so you, those wonderful, gorgeous Mexican flavors that I've combined in a healthy version of, <laughs> of mincy, beautiful beef, it's gorgeous. And I combined that with um, some amazing crunchy chips. No more corn chips for us, people. We can now have the most healthiest chips that literally you are eating nachos. That's what it feels like. It is wonderful. It's happening next week, right? Back here in the kitchen. Until then, enjoy the rest of your week. If you're on Boost Camp, I'll see you tomorrow for day four of Boost Camp. I'm excited just for how wonderful and how much result, amazing results people are already having. And we're only three days in. Three days in, and it's just incredible. So I look forward to seeing you then. You can join us on Boost Camp if you want to. Not too late to join up. You can join up and you can start whenever you are ready. You just put into Google Bridget's 28 Day Boost Camp and you can join us there. I'll see you guys all tomorrow online. Boost Campus, go well, be safe, have a good